folks, Bruce here from Forlo Life. Today I thought I'd start something a little different. I'm going to do a mini series on helping people do electrical troubleshooting. I see quite often on Facebook or on the forums people asking, why is this not working? Uh, help me understand this. So I'm going to start with some pretty basic stuff, including circuit schematic diagrams, symbols, things like that. But eventually we'll work into heavier troubleshooting. So to understand how a circuit is going to work, Every circuit is going to have to have a minimum of three parts, and those three parts are the source, the control, and the load. What we need to do in troubleshooting is verify that each of these are or are not working. On a schematic, your source, in most cases in a vehicle, is going to be the battery. So the schematic symbol for a battery is going to look something like this. Your fat long line is your positive, and your short line is your ground or earth. That's going to go to your chassis normally, and that's the symbol for ground. Coming off the positive side of the battery, we always want to have some form of circuit protection. So there we have a fuse. After this, we need something to control the circuit. That's the second part. We need a source of power and we need a control. So in the control in this circuit, we're just going to use a simple switch. Maybe it's your brake light switch. After that, we need the last part of the circuit. We're trying to do work. That work is going to be done below. In this case, we'll do a light bulb can be a glow plug, can be a light bulb, could be a anything, starter motor. So coming off of that, we need to get back to the beginning because it's a circuit. And usually this will be grounded back to your frame. So the connecting point between these two is your frame. So in that basic circuit, we have a source of power, a control, actually two controls, and a load. We have a full circuit. Two things can happen here. We can have an open circuit, such as you blow the fuse. If you blow the fuse, the power cannot flow. If your fuse is good and your switch is open, the power cannot flow. When the switch closes, we have a circuit and it can flow. If your bulb, in the, in the, if your bulb is blown, you don't have a circuit and the power can't flow. So if we have an open circuit, the power can't flow, your light's not going to come on. The other thing we can have is a short circuit. And a lot of people refer to any electrical problem as a short circuit. If you have a short circuit, you're missing something here. The load. If the electricity cannot get to the load, it's not going to light up. So let's say over here on this side of the switch or on the wire in between the switch and here, somehow this has contacted the frame and we have a ground here. Well, you can see the electricity is going to go back to ground this way because it's easier. It doesn't have to do any work. It does not have to go through the load. The load is not going to light up. Or if this is a bad ground, a high resistance ground, which we'll talk about later, then the light bulb may light up dimly, but most of the power or some of the power is bypassing the load. So a very basic beginning. Find out when your circuit's not working. Do you have an open circuit or do you have a short or partial short circuit? Stay tuned for more. I'll get into way more detail. If you want to learn about stuff like this, click the subscribe button, follow along. There's tons more videos to come. Till then, thank you. Stay tuned. Take it easy. Have fun. Go work on something.